We've been using the Kepler Space Telescope, which is a telescope that was originally trying to find planets, and we've been finding exploding stars, and finding exploding stars uh, a few minutes after their explosions. In fact, we are observing it so early, we can see what this shock wave is doing before this explosion is happening. So of these, these special cosmological supernova explosions, we found three. In order to determine dark energy, we need these explosions as light probes or, or candles across the universe, which allows us to probe very deep into the universe. With the specific type of supernova, what we call type 1a supernova, the idea that a white dwarf and another smaller star, so something smaller than the mass of the sun, are actually coming together to form as an explosion. Now, this is kind of different from the traditional school of thought, which involved a much larger star. Um, and we're also finding that the explosions, when they ignite and how they blow up, are actually all very different. They're not blowing up in the exact same way. Now, by actually exploring the physics and understanding more about the processes and actually what's going on in these objects, we can actually improve our cosmological measurement to start figuring out what's causing this acceleration. What is this dark energy that makes up 70% of everything in the universe?